let's rock and roll. So before we even graph, do you want to cover these pieces of information? I like this little activity only because solid dash word of shade because it's above, it's on the top part, below is on the bottom part. Using the solid line, we got to make sure we know that this is our equal to. Okay, we have four symbols and four of them have our little equal to sign underneath, which is our less than equal to and our greater than equal to. So really consider that these are our solid lines because of the equal to. Our dashed line is the same symbols without the equal to. So for dashed, all I'm going to say is less than greater than. Now, some of us are going to have challenges trying to make sure we know the symbols. But if you do yourself a favor and just make an L with your left hand, right? Your left hand, your right hand, your left hand, you can definitely make this L. And as you can see, the L is for less, which is right here. Less and less. Make that L with your hand for sure, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Shading above, above is on top. Make that little note for yourself. Of course, if we're talking about less and greater, the greater is going to lead us to wanting to shade on the top. Greater than equal to and greater than. Below, if you're not sure below, it's the bottom. And of course, since it's the bottom, we're not doing greater than, we're doing less than. And definitely, if we need to, let's write the little, the notes right here also. Use a different color. Greaters and less. So I know that these are greaters, these are less. Boom, boom, boom. We can start graphing. Okay. First things first, <coughs> excuse me. First things first, we gotta make sure it says Y. That's the first step, solve for Y. It's in Y form or slope intercept form, we're good to go. Couple things that we gotta do, we gotta identify the slope, the intercept, solid dash, shading above or below. So four pieces of information, let's do it. First thing, my slope. From slope intercept form, if I write it on top, we got y equals mx plus b. I can easily identify that m is 2, but I do need to remember that slope is better as a fraction, so I just turned this into 2 over 1. If you're asking yourself, why do we do that? Because 2 divided by 1 gives me 2, so it's okay to put a 1 underneath. If it's a fraction, you're good to go. Next, we want to identify my y-intercept. Y-intercept is 3. And remember that this is called the y-intercept. After that, we talk about the, the lines and the, the shading. Looking at the symbol... I can easily see, okay, it's dashed, and we're shading below. Two pieces of information. So we could graph. All right, let's do it. Starting with your y-intercept, which is your three. I come to my y. Let's use a different pen. Coming to my Y, starting at the origin, one, two, three. You could always use Desmos. Um, not gonna do it for this video only because, you know, we do need to practice doing it by hand, but for sure Desmos will help. But anyways, one, two, three is my point. From the slope, it's telling me to go two up, one to the right. Making a staircase, two up. One to the right, 
two up, one to the right, two up, one to the right. I can't go anymore. We want to create these same staircases coming downwards because we can still make points right here. A lot of my kiddos are doing a great job seeing that, okay, it's just one to the left, two down. Continue the staircase. One to the left, two down. One to the left, two down. And I wish uh, I had that little thing or I could modify the videos to make it go faster, but it's okay. One to the left, two down. Don't forget, you can always contact me. And then we should have our little line right there. Okay. Next is a dash line. I wish I had a ruler. But you would just make your little dash. Starting with our arrows, right? Dash, 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 dash. Dash lines, it's not connected. And then the best part, shading below. Below is gonna be below the line, above is on top of the line, okay? It takes a little practice, of course. What's gonna help you is determining the origin, but of course, we can talk about that next time. So we just shade below. Real fast. I'm not gonna make it beautiful, but we get the point. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this half plane that we created, this little shaded region is called our solution set. Now with that solution set, last part of the video, we can definitely talk about these points. We're gonna see if these points are part of this answer. And I'll make a little note right here. This right here are our answers. If it's not in here and it's out here, that's not our answer. It's anything that's inside this. So let's check it out. Five, five, which is X, Y. Don't forget that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I plot the point. Five, five, is that an answer? Check mark. That is in the colored region, so this is good to go. Let's try this one, negative three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Is this guy part of the party? No, that's not part of the party. This is outside. And two, seven. Two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is on our dash line. But because it's a dash line, this would also be no. But let's write a little note about that. A dash line is not part of our solutions. I'm gonna box that too. Dash is not part of our solutions. So since our dash line is not part of our solutions, we can make the adjustments that a solid will be part of the solution and we'll talk about that in the next video.